Hi, this is a short video I'm doing. I'm comparing a couple of pocket knives of mine, a couple of uh, side opening autos. Uh, the one on the top is uh, the Piranha X. Uh, it gets the name X from the pattern on the handle. The pattern on the handle is, as you can see, it's an X pattern. And it's a typical Piranha. It's got a titanium clip. It's got a mirror polished 154 cm blade and uh, it has a nice snappy opening and of course like all piranhas it does not uh, have a pivot an adjustable pivot and i've never taken one apart from, from what i understand if you take it apart there's no pivot mechanism in there at all uh, uh, that's adjustable uh, you basically get it the way it is and that's and and you work from that point forward now the other knife down here I've had longer, this is a Protec TR3. Uh, both of these are not new models, they've been around a long time. Now the reason I'm putting both of these in the same video is that Protec has a reputation uh, as perhaps the best uh, automaker. Uh, I think that, you know, I think Microtech might have something to say about that. And certainly Microtech, in terms of uh, blade choices, um, consistently uh, uses more uh, uh, up-to-date or more, you know, kind of uh, in vogue steels, uh, you know, whereas Protec pretty much, I'd say probably about 90% of what Protec does is in 154CM, which of course is a very fine steel. I, I remember it wasn't that long ago, uh, 17, 18 years ago when 154 cm was considered top of the line steel uh, but like I said Protec does about 90 percent of their knives in 154 cm and they do a smaller number in S35 VN <coughs> but the Protec as you can see here uh, you know has an adjustable pivot uh, now it's a black finished blade instead of a mirror polish blade and uh, it, it has a really nice fit and finish to it feels really good solid in the hand now and as you can see uh, from what I understand the overall length of the blade is about three and three eighths um, you know if you take it all the way back to the pivot it's about three and a half um, and the cutting edge of the blade is let me see the cutting edge of the blade is like maybe three and one sixteenth inches now let me put the piranha down here let me move this one up a little bit. Now, the Piranha is slightly smaller. The Piranha has a blade. Actually, uh, the, the overall length of the blade is about three and three eighths. If you look at where the pivot's supposed to be, or where it would be, it's uh, prob probably just a smidge longer. Now, the actual cutting edge, however, if we put the cutting edge right here, the cutting edge is probably about 2.9 inches. It's a little bit shorter than the uh, Protec. Now, some people say that Piranha looks kind of reminds them of gas station knives, probably because of the, the little Piranha logo here and the fact that you know, there's the Piranha fish there and there's the Piranha logo. Now the blades are clean, like a lot of people talk about, they like uh, blades with no markings. Piranha does not mark the blades, which that ought to get them some points with somebody. But, um, now the Piranha feels lighter. Now it's a different finish, so the finish feels a little bit more slippery. But with the but with the X uh, pattern in, in the in the blade, it's not going to slip off the hand. Both of them have both the Protec TR4 and the Piranha uh, X. Both have nice sharpening choils. And all I can say is that the Piranha is a good bit cheaper. It's about it's like 129 as opposed to like 180 or so for for the Protec. And so, I'd say in terms of uh, value, uh, I say I, I say Piranha really uh, punches above its weight. I think probably because they're so distinctive, uh, you know, they're kind of you know, you either like Piranhas or you don't. I, I think they're kind of cool, but I could see why some people, you know, might find them a bit too flashy or maybe even kind of tacky, which is kind of a strong word, but I could see how some people might feel that way. Uh, the Protec, however, is more of a traditional uh, 
you know, kind of quote unquote serious looking knife. And, you know, this one definitely has the tactical feel to it. Now, I'd say the Protec probably snaps out just a little bit harder, but that may be, I, yeah, I think, I think the springs are just a little bit harder in the Protec. But to be honest with you, the Piranha's no slack, no, no slouch. I mean, I, I think probably it doesn't resound the same way because uh, the Piranha's a little bit lighter blade and that might have something to do with that, that given the good smack it has. That, you know, like, it might, it might be why it doesn't have the same good smack that the Protec has. You know, because with the Protec, yeah, I can really feel that, you know, thumping in there when I open it up. Uh, with the um, Piranha, it's, it's not quite as uh, heavy a feel, but it's definitely snappy. I think, you know, both knives are quite good. Now, I will say this now, I'm not going to show it in this video, but the Piranha actually makes a really nice food prep knife. I, I was uh, cutting up some summer sausage with it last night, you know, did, did a good job. Uh, now, the Protec, I think this is a partial flat grind, yeah, it's a partial flat grind. I think it's a partial flat grind. I don't think it's. I don't think it's hollow grind. Um, I haven't. You know, I haven't done as much uh, kind of slicing with this knife, although I've had it longer. But I really like a piranha. You know, piranha turns out a lot of full flat grind knives, and you know, I'm a Spyderco fan. So, you know, I guess if you like Spyderco, you know, you can't beat full flat grind. Although I'd say the Protec is a, is a really good knife too. Overall, I'd have to say that. Um, the Protec has a slight edge on the Piranha in terms, I'd say, in terms of fit and finish. But, you know, it's, it's 60, it costs $60 more. I don't necessarily think the uh, Protec is $60 better than the Piranha. But, you know, the look of the Protec probably will appeal to more knife makers, uh, more knife buyers than the Piranha. The Piranha, however, you know, if, if, if you don't mind a brightly colored, kind of gaily colored, colored uh, Auto, uh, it's it's a nice knife. I mean, I, th I think I think it's actually quite a usable knife. But anyway, that's just my overview, the comparison of um, Protec TR4 and Piranha uh, X.